Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're talking about the fourth beta of iOS 26, the public beta release and everything to expect in the next coming days. Now the upcoming week will actually be quite busy when it comes to iOS releases. We have been expecting the public beta to actually be released this week alongside with the re-release of iOS 26 beta 3, but it didn't happen and we're expecting it to actually be released this next week alongside the fourth beta so we can talk all about that and of course more new features and changes on ios 26. now first of all let's talk about more new features and changes which are actually some of them very very useful like this one right here now what you can see right here what it does it's basically a feature for your sim so if you have an eSIM, your iPhone will be able to automatically detect when you're back home. And as you can see right here, it gives you this notification right on your lock screen where it says that the iPhone has detected your home and has switched your secondary and primary lines back to their default. Your travel SIM has been turned off. So if you have a travel eSIM on your iPhone, once you come back home, it will switch your SIMs to their default automatically pretty cool a very very useful feature so you don't have to bother with that part at all everything will be done automatically and then here's another one very similar to this that has to do with eSIMs as well now siri will suggest you to purchase an eSIM or turning on roaming for a trip so if you have a trip planned or something like that it will actually notice that and give you those suggestions as you can see right here it says stay connected while traveling and it says that a flight has been found in mail you can turn on data roaming or purchase an eSIM travel so it basically knows everything even if you have a flight somewhere a ticket on your mail it will detect that and gives you suggestions about turning on the roaming or just purchasing an eSIM for your travel. Now this right here is really cool. This has actually changed on a lot of apps, on the phone app, on the reminders right here and some other apps. So you know when you swipe like this to delete an item or maybe flag it or do something to it, you will have these buttons, but previously they would have just the, like the icon on the button and underneath it, there would be the label of basically what it does. Now with this new change, we actually have the label on the button right there, which makes it look really nice and much much cleaner on the third beta of ios 26 you will also find this new pop-up for your airpods so when you have updated and you connect your airpods you might see this new pop-up talking about what's new with airpods charging reminders and this is actually a really useful feature it will give you reminders to when to charge your, your airpods when they're fully charged when they're on low power mode it's actually really awesome pause media on sleep we know about that and we also have the camera control features which actually apple has also talked about at their wwdc 2025 conference where they talked about the new features on ios 26 so these are some of the main new features of the airpods and now you will get this pop-up just explaining you what is new with airpods and we also have a new and updated icon for apps only on the watch there's the icon right there so if you have apps that use seller data on your iphone and you go to your seller data usage there will be a new icon for apps that have used your seller data but these are apps that you don't have on your iphone you only have them on your apple watch and now before we move on and talk about new releases let's quickly talk about battery because with this week coming with there will be the public release the public beta release of ios 26 so there will be a ton of people wanting to update so how is battery you can see this is the battery of my iphone right here the battery health at 90 percent and this is what we got in terms of battery life so let's just take a look at the last few days so 169 percent battery eight hours two minutes right here 159 percent battery usage seven hours 44 minutes and then right here about the same here 159 percent battery usage nine hours eight minutes it is not the worst ever it actually has been 
like improved a lot with this last beta it's much better the iphone heats up but not a lot like on the beta 1 and 2 so it's looking good and of course with the next beta releases the beta 4 and of course the first public beta we can expect this to actually be much much better so we know once apple decides to release the beta for the public to test it it should be quite stable now overall when it comes to performance it is really good but of course the battery has like room for improvement but it's not that bad so now let's talk about the new releases that are coming this week now we know there will be a beta 4 we're still on a two-week schedule with the releases of ios 26 dev betas and alongside that we're also getting the first public beta now we have this confirmed also by mark grumman this update should be released right here around the 22nd or the 23rd so the the fourth actually the fourth dev beta should be released on monday that will be july 21st now that should be the time when you have to update your iphone if you're currently on the third beta if you're not you're still on ios 18 and you're thinking about updating to ios 26 beta then you can also wait for the public beta which will be the 22nd or the 23rd of july even though the fourth beta and the first public beta will be the exact same update so again if you're on the th third beta of ios 26 just update immediately to the fourth beta you don't have to wait for the public beta or try to switch to the public beta because there's actually nothing that will benefit you there it's exactly the same update so should you update or not if you're on ios 18 well I know a lot of people will want to try this update of course it's cool with all the new liquid glass design and all the changes and if you just want to do it you can do it right now with the fourth beta or the first public beta this is the time of course that even apple thinks it's stable enough for the public to test it so you can go ahead and try it out now there should be a lot of adjustments with these betas as well because we have seen through the three betas that apple has released until now they made a lot of adjustments especially when it comes to the liquid glass design they have changed it a lot and actually toned it down a lot so hopefully with these betas being more stable and of course better battery life we should see a lot of that liquid glass design come back to ios 26 and hopefully that will happen so that's basically it for this video guys this is everything that you need to know regarding the next betas that are coming next week there should be two of them the beta 4 and of course the first public beta and some cool new features and changes that we have been able to find on the third beta of ios 26 and for ios 18 users there is a chance that ios 18.6 rc might be released also next week with of course the public release coming in the next couple of weeks so that is it leave a like if you enjoyed the video and of course subscribe for more if you want to be updated with the latest iOS 26 news. That is it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.